in any city, in any country. Go to any public school past the hours of its normal operation. Should you be greeted by anyone at all, you should leave, for that person will know your intentions and be filled with an innermost desire to kill, and your death shall be one of unprecedented gore. Should no one know of your arrival, approach the most secluded door you can find. Approach it and knock. Wait approximately one minute, and say, I seek only pleasure. No more. At this moment, an unerring silence will fall upon you. Should you hear any vocal sound, whether from man or beast, state your name and your reasons for seeking the holder. If your statement is sincere, you will be allowed to progress. If you hear any other sound, you should begin to run as fast as you can back from whence you came. You will know by dawn's light if you have escaped or not. You will be allowed to live your life within the realms of normalcy. However, you will lose all memory of any holder or object. Should you come across another seeker or object, you will go insane at the most base level. Simple mention of your former quest will bring forth horrible sufferance as well as a guilty pleasure. The phrase uttered will be of importance. Memorize it and hold it dear. If you were to forget the word, eternity in hell would be a blessing for you. At this time the door will transform. You will feel a sudden urge to gaze at it. To submit to this desire would reveal a small part of your soul to you, your greatest flaw. Enter the door and walk forward until you feel a sense of despair. For some it may take minutes and others days. Upon truly feeling despair, an end to the maddening monotony of this bland hallway will appear. Going through this portal will reverse the feelings of pain and pleasure. You will find yourself in a room full of the various instruments of torture from history. In the middle of this display of terror, you will find your true love. This person will act as if you have never met. You must threaten to torture your companion with the object you believe will inflict the most pleasure upon them. As they beg for their life, you must make good on your threat. At the climax of their pain, gaze deeply into the eye that corresponds to your dominant hand and utter the phrase you should have memorized earlier. By whatever means necessary, remove the eye from your present victim. Stare at the disembodied organ. You will see the pain and revulsion of all of history's atrocities committed in the name of pleasure. Should you remain sane, you will now find yourself back at the school. Exit the building as quickly as possible but do not allow anyone else to gaze upon the object in your hand. If they see it, they will desire to have it at the expense of your life. This eye is object 495 of 538. When they are united, you will bask in the suffering of those around you. You will find thrill and exhilaration in the pain he brings. However, your death will come from the hands of your true love.